Hello YouTube universe. Um, in a more uh, informative and serious video, this is gonna be one of those videos. Um, uh, so um, I recently learned something. Um, I thought I was too old to learn anything new, but um, so I've been following this channel and I'm subscribed to it on YouTube called uh, Living Well with Schizophrenia. And I was confused because the um the main um person who narrates in the channel is um she's a uh, she's been diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder and I was wondering why our schizophrenia the schizoaffective disorder grouped together they're like like an animation they had some high tech video editing right there um so uh for the, for those of you who don't know this I am by no means an expert. I just happen to do a lot of research on uh, very personal things related to myself. <clears throat> so schiz schizophrenia, um, as far as I know, was uh, the literal translation, if you broke it down in terms of Latin, um, is like a split mind disorder. Is what it literally translates to, but um, that's why it easily gets confused with um. In the past, multiple personality disorder or, or uh, MPD. Um, so schizophrenia is most notably recognized as I don't want to say the pinnacle, but the uh, the highest point of psychotic symptoms or psychosis or delusions, hallucinations, hearing voices, paranoia, etc. Uh, it's it's not something you want to get, um, or, you know, become diagnosed with. Mm. <clears throat> well, uh, schizoaffective disorder is a mood disorder. Um, and from my understanding, the difference between bipolar disorder and schizoaffective disorder is that the psychotic symptoms, um, they're both still mood disorders marked by, characteristically marked by, a low of depression and a high of mania or you know um so so let me explain what all these words means before people start freaking out um psychosis psychotic symptoms uh no no one's gonna go around killing people murdering people um um i don't know how that got started but um you know it's a stigma is a stereotype um <clears throat> in terms of Bipolar disorders, schizoaffective disorders, um, again, both mood disorders. The high of mania is not like a maniac. It's, these are two completely different things, um, stereotypically, in terms of slang. Um, so mania is characterized by having so much energy that you can't sleep. Uh, you start new projects, you take more risks than you normally would. Some of these might be financial, some of them might be physical, etc. Um, so, why are they grouped together? And um, I did a quick Google search about it. I do believe um, the woman from Living Well with Schizophrenia also addresses this. I think it was in a Q&A, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I just Googled why are schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorder often paired together. I'll read you what it says. In schizophrenia, mood, dis mood symptoms are not expected to occur without psychotic symptoms. The psychotic symptoms are almost always present, but the mood sy symptoms come and go. Now, if you look at schizoaffective disorder, that's sort of the opposite, while being the same thing at the same time. In schizoaffective disorder, the psychotic symptoms may or may not be present during the times when a person is experiencing depression or mania. So... One has psychotic symptoms that are dominant. One has mood swing symptoms that are dominant. While the other two factors are, you know, less dominant. So, um, um, yeah, I mean, a lot of things still hold true that keep the two of those diagnoses, diagnoses tied together um, and they are they tend to get worse with age um, whether that's because the human body or the mind can even develop a uh, 
resistance to certain medication. I don't know. But um, it's it's not uncommon to think that there's going to be good times and there's going to be hard times. Um, just getting older, um, new life circumstances, um, all these can be triggers for a quote-unquote episode if you want to call it that, but, um, I choose not to call it that, um, I just call it life, because an episode implies that there might be more than one, and for some people, there's not, for some people, they have a nervous breakdown or a psychotic break, and they get situated, they get medicated, and they're fine the rest of their lives, um, on average, are there more than one complications that might occur along the way for most people of course but can you be lucky and somehow get your shit together easily and so fast for the rest of your life i mean it's rare but it can happen um i think the ship sailed on me for that a long time ago the bus the bus drove away um i don't know what made me want to make this video but um I don't believe I addressed it in the past and I felt like it needed to be addressed. Um, I guess that's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. I guess that's the way it is. Um, well, I um, hope you guys are doing well out there. Uh, I'm still enjoying my chair, as you can see. I've um, been playing a lot of PlayStation. Um, just uh hanging out i uh did some grocery shopping today for the house or whatever but um just uh just trying just trying you know for the first time in a long time i was talking to a random medical person of mine um who uh supervises my care and um or parts of my care, and, um, I forget how it was brought up, but we were just talking, and, um, I was just explaining her the situation going on where, um, for the most part, um, the only one that leaves the house to, um, take care of, take care of the food situation, and, um, in my personal case, my sanity situation, um, she said to me, you're a good son when I was explaining to her everything that I was doing and for that matter not doing and um, just during this um, pandemic of course and she said I was a good son and I said to her I wish I heard that more often because do I need that validation is there someone that doesn't is there someone that would not accept it because Sounds like a pretty good validation to me. I don't know how that ties in with schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorders, but, um, you know, everything ties in together. That's it for me, guys. Um, hope you guys are hanging in there. Uh, this will be over before we know it. Maybe. But, uh, alright, guys. Stay safe.